Step one, the explosive takeoff. Step two, the eventual slowdown. Step three, the precise turn. Step four, repeat. Running between the wickets is more than just being fast. So how do batters maximize their speed despite having to change directions? Right at the start of a run, every batter starts by slanting their bodies. As they do that, they're basically pushing at an angle to the ground. And consequently, the ground exerts an equal and opposite reaction force, as per Newton's third law. Now, this reaction can be broken into two components. One helps keep the balance, and the other is responsible for the explosive start, pushing the batter forward. Here, the friction between ground and feet is in fact what's helping the batter accelerate or speed up. Yes, you heard that right. Similar to the slanting of a sprinter to take off right at the start. Post to the explosive start, as the batters get to finishing the first run, they almost slant in the reverse direction. That is, they push the ground in a way that the horizontal component or the friction completely shifts to decelerate or slow down the batter, almost forming a symmetrical mirror image of the start. And interestingly, it's friction that's letting the batter take off as well as slow down before launching into the next run. All in all, it's all about going the extra mile to keep the scoreboard ticking, as well as the hearts of the fans. Any idea what's this umpire signal that's related to running? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.